everybody, Ryan Motivates back at you here with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be speaking about how I've been in Calgary now for one whole year. I moved here July 1st of 2021, and now right now is the end of June of 2022. And yeah, it's been a year, and it's pretty crazy, and I just wanna look back on this time, I wanna reflect on this time. I wanna give you all advice on what it's like to move out for the first year and be in a new city for the first year. So I'll just take you through my journey on uh, like month per month, you know, how everything went and how I got to this point right now where I'm happy, you know, my place is set up, I have a lot of friends and I'm doing good, right? But the beginning wasn't like that. And just a side note, my voice is a little scratchy. I was a little sick a couple of days ago. So bear with me on my voice. So to get things started, you know, I moved here July 1st and it was so awesome. There was fireworks in the sky because it was Canada Day and we were hyped, you know, it was a good plane ride getting here. And the vibes were amazing and I knew that when I was getting on this plane, I'm like the next chapter or book of my life is going to be started. And we moved here without even visiting Calgary, right? But we did our research obviously all, about all the places and Calgary just stood out as number one and it has been that and I'm so happy that I've been here. It's been amazing. And yeah, so when we moved here, we were excited, ready to go, chase our dreams. We we're going to do like fitness content. We we're going to like just try to just build a fitness empire, right? But then things changed, you know, things happened. And um, I moved here with a buddy, we were in the same place. But uh, you know, he was in his own little situation there. I don't wanna go into too much details, but I ended up moving to my own place uh, a couple months later. So when I first got here, things didn't go as smoothly as we planned in the beginning. But luckily in the first month, I got a job at an amazing restaurant that I still work at now one year later. So that's been the foundation of me being able to financially support myself, so that's been amazing. But uh, in around October, I moved into this place by myself. So that was a bit of a challenge because now I have to pay for my own rent, learn how to cook and clean for myself, be completely independent. And I wasn't ready for it. I was kind of just like thrown into the situation. But at the end of the day, I was pushed to advance in life. And now I'm happy that I'm able to be self-sufficient and have my own place. And I learned how to cook for myself, clean my place, you know, take care of my own place by myself. I furnished my whole place, which took a lot of time, money and energy. But now that that chapter of my life is already done, I feel like I'm ahead of where I would have been, you know? It would have taken me longer, but I just got pushed into it. So that was a big curveball, you know? So from July to October, I was just in this in-between phase of like, what am I gonna do, whatever. But then when I got into this place in October, then I was able to start setting up my place, but that's a whole process, you know, by November, December, January, February, which is me just trying to save money and buy a couch, buy a TV, buy a chair, buy, all these things right because when i moved in i only had my bed which was only the bed i didn't have a bed frame and i had a tv that i got and um, a lawn chair in the living room so it took a while that was an interesting journey to build my place and um, it took a better part of a year well actually from october till may so seven or eight months to build my place uh, to furnish it you know saving money every month but I'm happy with everything that I got and that's been an amazing journey and now my place is set up and I'm so happy in here. You know, and I, I made sure that I got furniture and things like that that meant something to me and that are good quality. I didn't want to buy cheap shit and uh, not be happy with it. So that's my journey with my place, you know, and I'm very happy right now, so I made it. So it takes a year and you'll get there too when you have your place. Just take some time to furnish it, but just enjoy the ride, you know? And also, uh, having friends here so when I moved here I had my one buddy and I didn't know anybody else right other than my uncle that lives here but I had to go out and seek friends you know and I had friends from my workplace working at a restaurant has been good it has been uh, you know amazing to meet amazing people that I work with I've created friendships from that and that's been awesome but also I've been I forced myself to go out to the bars and clubs and be social and be social around and I've met a lot of friends that way and I find that when you move to a new city, you can't expect friends to come to you, you know, and making friends is not easy. You have to think about how to do it. There's a like uh, strategy involved, you know, and it's like you have to be, um, you know, friendly yourself. You have to have a good vibe, good energy or else people don't want to talk to you, obviously. Right. And you have to think about where you want to go to meet these people. And the good thing is for me, for example, I BMX. So for me, going to the skate park is a good place to meet guys that have a similar mindset. Or when I went to the shinny rink to play hockey in the winter time to meet guys that like hockey like me too. Or at the gym, I met a, a friend from the gym who's one of my best friends here. And I met him in the gym, the place I love going. 
So you have to find out places that you love going and interests that you have to meet people that will, you know, make sense in your life to make friends, right? So the journey of making friends like took a year and now I have like probably like eight to 10 really good friends already in the first year. And I know I'm gonna make more as I sign up for sports teams and stuff like that. But it's been awesome, they're great people, you know, and I've made friends based on who I am now as a person. You know, I find that when you're in, you know, um, elementary school and high school, you're kind of just, you're not really yourself yet. But when you turn into an adult and you make friends, those are people that are really gonna be there for life and because you know who you are as a person and they know who they are as a person and you have similar interests and stuff, right? So that's been cool, building my friendships over the span of a year. It's been challenging at some times, like the first couple of months obviously were hard, I didn't have a lot of friends. I was by myself, I had nobody to lean on, to talk to about things. Well, you know, I had people to call family and friends, but like in person, you know, like to hang out and go places and stuff. So that was challenging at first, but I made it through the challenge and I knew that it just had to give it time. You can't force things like that. You can't force relationships, you can't force friendships, but they come whenever you're ready and at random times, right? So that's been a crazy journey, you know, meeting new friends, making new friends, and uh, it's been good and I'm happy about it and where I am right now. So that's an amazing thing as well. And uh, you know, I've just been still progressing in my health, you know, going to the gym all the time and staying on top of my grind, which has been, you know, it's challenging for anybody to stay on top of that. But it's been hard because I've been focused on building my life here, building my environment, trying to make friends and go out and still manage working and, and staying in shape and stuff. But you know, time management is a very big key. That's what I realized about living on your own. Cause you gotta spend time to do your laundry. You gotta cook every day and like certain times, prep food, you gotta go grocery shopping. You know, you have to make sure you're prepared for work, you're sleeping in, you're setting your alarms. There's a lot of stuff going on, right? But once you get into the hang of it and the groove, then you're set. For me, I just know about how to do all these things now. And it's just kind of routine for me. And you have to build a routine for yourself. You know, so it's been an amazing journey and, uh, you know, going to Banff, seeing the mountains and stuff and like people have visited me. It's been so great. You know, shout out to Max for coming through. My parents came through and my other friends are coming through soon. But um, it was fun, you know, and I'm just happy that oh, it's been one year here and I'm happier than I've ever been and I've made it, you know. And the first couple months weren't amazing, right? But one year later, I can say that I'm happy here and like the first chapter of this new book is written, you know, and the rest of the chapters are a mystery, but I know they're gonna be headed in the right direction because the first chapter was the foundation and it was about building my environment, building my friends, making sure I'm like able to uh, sustain myself uh, independently, living by myself, being able to cook and all these things. So I've grown a lot as a person behind the scenes. You know, I haven't posted a lot on YouTube, but I've grown so much in the past year, like it felt like five years in one. You know, I've learned how to do so many things, and I matured as a man so much, you know, and I went through a lot of challenges. But like I said, I'm here now and I'm really happy and, you know, I'm excited for what the future holds. But just to inspire somebody out there through this camera is like, one year of your life may be a time where you have to spend building yourself. And like, that's what I did the past year. And it is dark, lonely sometimes. And, you know, it's just like, you have to focus on yourself. You're not, I'm not traveling. I'm not going on vacations. I'm not meeting up with people all the time, doing all these things. Like you have to spend time building your life sometimes, right? Build the foundation. But when you have a strong foundation, then you're set up and it, like, you can't fall over. You know, it's like the roots of a tree too. The roots have to be strong into the ground or else if the wind blows, you're going to fall over, right? And the roots have to do with your environment you live in, your routines, your habits, how you can take care of yourself and stay healthy, right? So that's what I've developed over the past year. And yeah, so hopefully this video can inspire you, you know, on your journey of moving out or a new city for the first year. Um, just stay patient on making friends, building your environment, and just stay focused on your goals. I'm not giving up on my goals just because they got put aside for a year. Oh, I'm coming in hot. I'm, I'm gonna chase my dreams and goals. It's just, I needed to set a year aside to build my foundation and that's what I did. So yeah, that's the video. I don't wanna ramble too long, but these are some things that happen and I'm very happy and I wish happiness for you too. And uh, yeah, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay blessed. Till next time, peace out.